this is your girl simply love and i'm here to do your um mid-month reading um from the 15th all the way into the 30th and we're going to see the energies that come in uh first of all i want to give our honor to our uh ancestors our spirit guides our creator uh, mother and father of the universe for being here and delivering and um being here to get the messages to me to deliver to uh everyone out there who may it may resonate or they want a message for uh remember you guys i'm just a messenger i'm not here to judge anybody or do any it's not me it's spirit god and i'm allowing them to use or they using me to deliver messages that they have for somebody out there or some people out there okay it doesn't resonate for everyone the messages can be fluid go back you know it can go both vice versa uh is for the cross watchers uh we're not going to get into any um uh we can't take the signs seriously, okay, but I am going to say them. Um, we also, uh, remember, if it doesn't resonate, try your sun, moon, uh, rising, or Venus signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Did I mention that already? But it is, okay? So I'm going to read something. I'm going to read intuitively to you guys first, see what I'm um, feeling, you know, intuitively, and then I'm going to um, get on with your reading, okay? So here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling some rain. I'm feeling some rain. It's coming down on me. Rain on me. Rain on me. Okay, yeah. Let's get a little popcorn popping, okay? Let's let's have a little fun on this one. This is for some who rise and be the sign for it. Uh what is it? Cancer? Okay, cancer. <laughs> so cancer, what I'm feeling about you is <sighs> I gather myself together here. Uh, I feel like there's something regarding a, uh, about a business or uh, about a home or something like that. I feel like it's going to be uh, some type of business transaction for you guys. So if you if this resonates, please hit the the, the uh, comment section. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like there's going to be um maybe a legal type situation about a home or a business or some type of residence there may be splitting of assets and stuff like that going on or coming up for some of you i feel like um somebody's feeling a little low right now like they feel like just not themselves i feel like they're just like be lonely somebody's feeling very lonely this could be a divorce or something like that for some of you. It could be um, um, some type of uh, inheritance, you know, out of nowhere. I feel like kind of like out of nowhere. And I kind of feel like this video is out of sync because my mouth is moving, but not in time. Okay. Um, I also feel like there's, um, I feel like the breakup was because somebody else, uh, got involved in somebody else's relationship or marriage I am yeah, seeing the there's been this third party scenario going on and like what is going on really somebody please enlighten me because I am old school okay I'm old school I, I just I, I don't get it I don't get it okay so somebody is very sad this could be one of two things I'm picking up. Like it could be from someone who passed into the on the other side of the spiritual realm, and somebody's you know taking control or taking some type of uh, um, action towards some property through a deed or a will or something like that. And um, it's somebody's really sad about the occasion, okay? But somebody's getting something out of this so, okay i hope it's not a family feud i hope it don't turn out to be a family feud somebody's really missing someone or it could be just a situation where two people are splitting up going their own ways dividing their assets things like that i think it came up in somebody else's reading that i was feeling this energy of uh, a split up yeah all right let's get into your reading Sun moon rising. There is a moth flying around here, and it's driving me absolutely crazy. Really, I found a, 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 a you know this is the season for you know little baby mat mice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get them. So don't act like don't 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 put your nose up in the air, okay? Because everybody get them. 
but I held one hostage, hostage last night. These some stupid ass mouses around here, boy. They just like fall for anything. I ain't even need no traps. That sucker got into a little bag I had up there with uh, um, and I had it hanging on on up on top of my um cabinet, and I heard it rattling. I heard the battle rattling, and it was just like a little rat. It was about that big. It was a baby. It, it was immature. It didn't know what it was doing. And it, it, you know, it made its own trap by getting in the bag, you know. And then it seen me coming towards the bag and jumps out the bag and jump into another bag that was below that. I mean, a little thing just like hopped out, hopped in another bag, and I just grabbed it, wrapped it up. I'm like, it's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap you done trapped yourself don't squeak now okay there ain't no time for squeaking and hollering now i got you or you got yourself anyway <sighs> moving on cancer <laughs> okay Cancer, what messages do we have for the sign of cancer? Somebody's moving on. Somebody's going for victory, pulling yourself together and just moving on. Wow, cancer, what's up? Could be could that is your energy, a cancer, okay? It looks like you're pulling yourself together and you are fiercely moving forward. During, yeah, you know, this person is like trucking. Look at that. Hair blowing and shit in the back, okay? Somebody got a perm, a nice perm, and it's like flowing with in the air and with the wind. They got a nice perm going on. So, Cause they said, when I get out of here, I want my hair to fly, okay? And to fly as, as fast as I get out of here. So, so you cancers are doing this because that's your energy. Major arcana, major event. Okay, we got two came out here. Okay, the lover. Somebody made a choice between two people, okay? There was a choice that was made, okay? And it brought on this big-ass cup of love, a blessing. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's your energy. Somebody's going for it. Somebody may be going for marriage or something like that, okay? So we got the Queen of, or King of Pentacles. You like somebody's like... Somebody's getting a blessing here. There's a blessing coming, um, and they're going to spend some time to their self. They feel like they want to be alone, okay? They want to be, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, they want to be alone, very productive, um, taking care of their self, independent, and very uh, stable, okay? Somebody wants to be stable, and somebody's getting a blessing and stability, but somebody else is going to feel this. This is y'all energy. Maybe you're dealing with another uh, um, water sign. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody else is going to be disappointed and crying over spilt milk. You can't take... you When, when something spills out, you can't sop it up and put it back in. You know, it's kind of like you got to get over it. Got to get over it and focus, focus on what's, what's coming. What's to come out of all this? What is the message of all this what's the lesson of all this instead of sitting around crying and crying all of this okay to cry but some, this is like somebody really being disappointed and and hurt okay and just focusing on it focusing 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 on the spilt milk but they don't they ain't even looking at the cups that's already still standing more opportunities of love there but you know Somebody got to get out of feeling, you know, get out of this rut first, okay? And here we have the King or Queen of Pentacles, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, somebody who's stable. See? Somebody got to get out of feeling in that rut to see that there is stability, you know, here or, and available. But somebody's got to make a choice and somebody's not doing it between two people, two of swords. And this deck is, you know, three people. They're like, who are you going to choose? Somebody's not making a choice. You know, it's like, I, I, you know, somebody's just split, got a split decision, all right? Here's the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's, you know, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn who's really putting, you know, maybe focusing on their work now. Somebody working on their, uh, you know, just focusing on, you know, making money and being stable and stuff like that. Study work, work, work. Somebody's a workaholic. 
somebody decide, I, you know, instead of focus, focusing on making a choice, I'm just going to put my effort into my, my job. Or somebody could have met someone that, you know, uh, had to make a choice between a marriage and a, uh, or a commitment and uh, somebody from their job. For some of you out there, just forgot to throw that out there. Okay, we got the three of wands. Somebody definitely wants to go. Have they, you know, they see their ships coming in, but there's somebody there that wants to beg them to stay because somebody's got a wind that, you know, oh, they they really moving on. Let me see if they let me give them, let me try and see if they're gonna stay. But somebody I feel like already made that choice when the three of wands come up. That's action. Somebody's making that action, making that move. Somebody's trying to stop someone. Uh. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, did I say that? <laughs> mm. The Seven of Wands talks about competition. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, you see all that fighting. People, somebody defending themselves, people coming after each other. Uh, Somebody's definitely on the defense, okay, here. Somebody's definitely... So somebody's wanting to beg to come back because they see they're ready to move forward. and But somebody's like, uh, I have to defend myself on this situation, you know. Stop begging. Please stop begging because, you know, you're just like Debbie Downer. You're a Debbie Downer to me. You're, you know, you're on a down low. You, you know, you're bringing on this dark negative vibration. Um... With the devil being here, somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, and um, you're just like, I have to defend myself against you. I have to fight against this energy because it's just bringing me down. For some of you out there, if it's not you, it's someone else. King or Queen of Swords, it's like, look, <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm, here's the cold. Here's the cold truth right here. Okay, this is the truth. I'm bringing you the truth on how I feel. And um, it's going to be a wake up call here because I, I this low vibrational stuff is just not with it with me. Let's see what's really going on. Yeah, this is somebody's trying to make a choice here and uh, they're having a hard time doing that. Somebody wants new beginnings. When it comes to love, but there's too many people. There's third parties. I think I mentioned that uh, when we were talking, uh, you know, when we were doing the intuitive thing, we talked about that. All right. Okay. Now, um, what's going on with this? Uh, the chariot here. That's that's a real positive card. Somebody really really taking off, and that's your card, Cancer. Uh, the strength. So two major arcana cards here together: the strength and the chariot. You know, talks about it took the strength, it took courage, and it took patience to get to this point to pull yourself together and move, and you know, wanting to move on. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to, you know, actually just like leave your cares behind and start anew and be. Uh, you're actually going to be successful at it, okay? So we're going to verify this, uh, the lover's card, okay? Which is some of you could be talking to a Gemini. Okay. Somebody's ready to give up on something, you know, somebody, they have to make a choice and somebody's going to give something up or give someone up. It could be a, a, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody, you know, like not putting no more work in, in, into into something. All right. They're not just going, they're not going to invest in it. Okay. Now this verifying the Ace of Cups. Ooh, this just popped right out. The hair of it. Somebody just wants to do the right thing. This, uh, I feel like it's about a marriage and shit, too. Marriage, you know, doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Um, being committed. 
taking vows, stuff like that. Somebody wants to do the right thing. Now, this King or Queen of Pentacles. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Again, you got that uh, Five of Pentacles, you know, crying, carrying on, you know, just focusing on just, just, just a hot mess somebody here is. And this could be a, 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 a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is your energy. You're crying over somebody here, you know, over a missed opportunity, a disappointment, um, crying. But, you know, you got to take a look at that uh, in the background where there's there's two cups still there. Y'all know about this. And there's yellow there. Like, if you just could just get your head up out of this uh, mess here and just turn around and look around, there's your two of cups. There's your new new beginning. Ain't no sense of sitting around, you know, all in darkness and, and crying and, you know. You can let it out. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't stay there. That's what that card is trying to say. Don't stay in your misery. You know, don't stay there. Here we go again with some kind of, uh, with the with the five of cups. Somebody just, you know, re re rejecting somebody. Somebody not feeling it. So the magician came with that. Somebody else wants to manifest something else. They want to create something else, okay? Somebody here wants to move on and somebody's got their feelings. They're all up in their feelings, okay? king or queen of pentacles somebody's putting a stop to it you know what i'm saying somebody's like starting a brand new start with someone here might be a new relationship coming up a new beginning with the ace of cups and this pen this this person they want to start a new beginning with someone else looks like to me now what's going on with this here two of swords you know, these could be multiple messages. It could all go together. It just depends. But we read for too many people out here. You know, it's like somebody's ready to, again, here it is, the chariot card. You guys are ready to leave a situation. You don't want to be um, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a place where you have to be, where somebody has a, has a, a problem choosing. Okay? You're not waiting around for that. Okay? So, uh... Let's see what the eight, of, the eight of Pentacles is talking about. This is, you know, like mastering something, okay? Yeah, but, yeah, somebody wants to map. Yeah, somebody keep putting energy into something that's all somebody don't want to hold on to no more. See that? And see that other person in the background back there? Somebody's, like, found out something about and they're ready to walk away, all right? It's a hard situation. It's a hurtful situation. But, you know, if somebody else is going to be with someone else and, you know, maybe that's their choice. Let it be their choice and you move on to something better. With the Three of Wands, yes, it, you know, there's a tower moment with the Three of Wands. Somebody's like, oh, please come back. Please, please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Somebody's like, nope, I'm out. Here's the tower for you. Take that tower. Do whatever you want to do with it. But I'm out of here. All right. So we go into the seven of wands. Okay. Which is me. Talks about, you know, somebody, you know, defending themselves. Somebody putting up a good fight here. Defending themselves. Almost going to war. Somebody's been to war. But they still defending themselves regardless. They're standing up for themselves. And, and putting somebody in some kind of self-made prison. You know what I'm saying? This is dry. You know, this this is like, okay, I can't. The, on the outside, it looks like they're trying to be all tough and all that. And they, you know, beautiful or handsome. But in the inside, that's what they're really suffering. They're, they're, they're putting themselves in a mental a mental cage. Here's the Hierophant. Okay, this could definitely be about a marriage that's truly, truly over with that tower being there. 
and stuff but somebody's trying to hold on and but uh cancer y'all are ready to get out of town dodge for real and it may be over a new relationship okay Okay, so yeah, it's about a marriage to someone. Right? Doing the right thing with somebody. It might be somebody leaving a marriage or relationship to be with somebody else and get engaged to it or married to. Or vice versa. Remember, the energies can go vice versa. King or Queen of Swords here. You know, somebody telling the cold truth. And, and now they balance. Somebody's balancing out. Somebody had to tell the truth so they can balance their emotions, okay? Somebody had to take time and, and balance their emotion. Okay, let's see what else we got here. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Cancer. Shit, somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's heartbroken or will be heartbroken out of this situation. Sorry for that message, but I don't feel like it's you guys can't talk like you guys are breaking somebody else's heart. Uh, over some type of temptation, that's like a devil energy, a low vibrational energy. Somebody just like, uh, I see that cake, I know I ain't supposed to have it and shit, but then got, look, went in the refrigerator, took a bite and got busted. There was a, there was a camera in there and it, you know, you thought you were going to get away with something, but there was a camera in there showing you taking a bite of that damn cake. It was supposed supposed to be there for the wedding, okay? But somebody went in there and ate and ate it, and they got busted. Like I, they just couldn't help themselves, okay? They just couldn't help themselves. <laughs> okay, so that's enough of that. See whatever messages you want to get for the sign of can uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What other messages can we get for the sign of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer? Somebody's got awakening, you know, that's like that ace of swords or the ace of or the king or queen of pentacles. That's somebody getting a clue. Uh, somebody waking up to reality. You know what I'm saying? It's an awakening. It's an epiphany. Somebody's like, oh, I got it. I got it now. After all this time. Okay. Somebody's got a clue. And they receive hope and hope actually reminds me of the major arcana uh uh the star because the star always talks about hopes wishes and dreams so somebody's you know got a clue and they're going out and, and you know and they're having faith and hope in the situation that you know everything is going to be okay and it is going to be okay cancer okay and you know somebody's purifying themselves you know coming clean wanting to do the right thing okay Somebody could be walking into celibacy for a while too, okay? Um, for every heartache or, or heart pain, there is a lesson behind it. Not to hurt us, it's to help us, it's to take us to, to the next level. came out this was for I think Scorpio too okay young natural love young natural love this is the real thing here okay that's the real deal love young natural love is the real thing it's like uh, innocence about it okay uh, and it's uh, spiritually guided so that's why I feel like a lot of you cancerans are on your way to like a new star in love and it's like you learn to love yourself you know, learn, you know, like kind of like facing reality after going through a period of uh, some toxic energy, okay? Glasses, please. <laughs> um, don't let the waters run dry, okay? Don't let the waters run dry. Get out there. Get out there and find you somebody. There's always somebody for somebody, okay? Don't let the waters run dry, okay? That was a message for you guys. And that's it for the messages. Just making the videos kind of like um, a little shorter. I really don't have nothing else to say, okay? I want you guys to hit the um, like buttons, please. And go ahead and uh, if you feel like you want to... Um, 
subscribe to the channel please subscribe if you feel like you want to share this video with someone that may be going through this please do again uh, these messages are coming from spirit and you know I'm just being used as a, a messenger so don't get mad at the messenger talk to spirit and, and find out what needs to be found out or you know go ahead and get yourself a personal private reading all my information is listed below in the description if you like any of my cards that you've seen just go ahead and look at my playlist that I have here on you on YouTube or you can just go ahead and go to my um you go to my website that's listed below in the description too just click on it it'll, it'll take you right on over there okay I really appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoyed your reading take care bye